Hello, welcome to Beth Roars, where we look at your favourite singers to find out what makes them them. This one was suggested to me by one of my patrons, and it is a classic tune, so I had to react to it. And it's orchestral. So Justin, who they were screaming at, is the lead singer and the writer. It's like a Bond version. So these guys are from Birmingham in the UK. The Moody Blues. <laughs> and you can kind of hear it. Letters I've written never meaning it's so interesting because I really felt like I knew this song, but actually I know lots of other people doing covers of this song. I don't think I've actually, I must have heard him sing it before, but I've heard it sung in Italian with opera singers. And I have this image of it being really open and really kind of classical in style, but actually he's really singing on the consonants, really closing night and white satin and closing his mouth, which, you know, it can be easy for some people, isn't so easy for others. It might be something that doesn't work for everyone. So if you're struggling, maybe it's better to go for that more open, sad, and then putting the n on at the end. But it does, of course, work for him. Beauty I'll always be with these eyes before Really well placed. Hear how he is morphing his vowels. He's like, I love you. It's really ooh narrow and how most accents say you and then I love you he goes to an ah instead of an ooh to open his mouth a bit further to um, allow that resonance allow those frequencies to bounce around his mouth to make a big kind of resonance chamber so he's really opening up his mouth to help him get up to those high notes now actually lower down he's got a little bit of nasality in his tone he's letting a little bit of air sneak through his nose and he's closing which kind of pushes that air through his nose a little bit further closing his mouth um as he gets higher you can't really do that anymore it's kind of fine um when you're lower sometimes people like justin can um do it in the lower part of their range and then switch up when they get higher sometimes people really just need to get that technique going even lower in their range so that it becomes a habit dependent on the person but he has that ability to switch up and really open up as he gets higher I love Just that string I'm line on this. Going through, I can't understand. Some try to tell me thoughts they cannot defend. Just what you do want to be.
<laughs> okay, before we get into a really wicked flute solo, I I just lost myself in that, which is credit to him because I really do struggle to switch off my singing teaching brain sometimes and just listen. And when I get completely wrapped up in it, it means there's a, a really good job happening. Because that's, that's what music is all about, just enjoying it and getting lost in it and sometimes I definitely can get into that over analytical part of my brain which is you know sometimes a bit of a shame. I wish flute solos would come back in and music I love it. This is 70s but I love it. I love the sending strings. Of these sending strings. <gasps> oh, I love it when people do that, when they just build it up and then suddenly bring it down to quiet, quiet. Oh, it's such a beautiful dynamic. That's one of my favorite types of dynamics. Now, this song was written by Justin when he was 19 years old when a girlfriend of his brought him some satin sheets. But the song itself is a tale of yearning love from afar. So it's really cute. Nights never reaching the end. Back to that closed. Never mean to say. Beauty, I always be with these eyes before. Just what the truth is. I can't say anymore. Okay, I'll talk about it. He, I love in the earlier part, it's really in his speaking voice. He's keeping the shapes of his mouth inside and the front of his mouth very much like he would when he's speaking. As he gets higher, he really opens up. He even uses a tiny little, uh, a little, um, a little cry with a tiny kind of little hiccup in it. Um, that love you, oh. It's the way he kind of pushes up to a note. It is crying, but it's got that kind of squeeze in it, which gives you that feeling of emotion. It makes you feel like he's on the edge of crying, but he doesn't want to do it too much because you still want to feel like he's able to sing it. And that's uh, an interesting one. Sometimes you can go too far with it and it, it sounds like... I don't know, you actually might lose control of your voice, but he's doing it just the right amount. So the audience feels really secure with his voice, but also um, has that real emotional connection with him. There it goes, the little cry. Hiccup slash cry. Slash ornament. Oh, it's gonna be so dramatic. Oh. oh, I'm so happy about this orchestral arrangement.
orchestra's the best. Fantastic orchestral. Who did that arrangement? It was so cool. Man, nothing fills all those frequencies and that whole harmonic spectrum like an orchestra. And that was such a dramatically fantastic cinematic arrangement. I loved it. Thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed. If you did, please do like and subscribe and I will see you in the next one. Bye.